Hi class, I wanted to give you a little more information on how you can do the, um, the Hill Cipher, the matrix cryptography assignment, um, and also teach you a few spreadsheet commands that can help you at other times during the class to help you with matrix multiplication and finding inverses and such. So um, this is the same matrix we were working with yesterday that we already found the inverse. Um, both Excel and Google Sheets have a command that will find the inverse of a matrix for you. And that command is M inverse. So it looks like minverse, you can see there. And, um, and you just enter in, you just highlight or use the colon notation to enter the square matrix and hit enter and and there there's the inverse so much slicker than the process we do in class and of course in practice this is you know we use technology to find inverses for things like this um, and then if I could I could change things over here um, I can it will automatically change the inverse get back to, I think that's what what it was okay now here I have a message I like you and Oreos and um, I have the setup so it automatically finds it uses the a list down here it uses this list to it'll automatically take um, a capital letter and, um, or a space I actually typed a space into the ones where there's where it looks like there's nothing and it'll search it for. So if I want, if I type in capital Z there, it, it, it'll bring up 26. If I type in capital A, it brings up one. And so, um, so you can use this if you want to quickly encode your message. Um, and then this is, this is the green message right here. Just all of those numbers just put into a matrix, chunked, chunked three at a time. Nine zero two twelve. 9012, 9115, 9115, etc. And this encoded this matrix here. Here I'm going to delete this to show you and show you how to calculate it. This the spreadsheets, at least Excel and Crypto and um, Google Sheets, they can do matrix multiplication. You have to be responsible for making sure the matrices are compatible, however. And that command is M mult, M for matrix and you enter in um, the array for the first matrix and then the array for the second matrix and hit enter boom there it is um, so there's my encoded matrix so I could take this green encoder matrix and the red and make sure that gets to um, that gets to um, the receiver, the person I'm trying to send the message to, it's clear which one already is the encoder matrix because this one will not, this red one will not have an inverse. Um, so they'd know that this would be the one that they'd have to find the inverse of. And um, to decode, um, oops, I'm going to do equals matrix multiplication. I'm going to take the inverse matrix and the encoded matrix and multiply those together and I get back the, the, the message and then I have this set up so it automatically looks the numbers up and it's, you can read it I like you mm, Oreos so a little bit different to read that way um, so uh, this link, uh, w this link is in the slides that Michelle sent out, and I will have some other slides that that I will send out too, so that you guys can are welcome to to use this. It might be best to download or create a copy of this, and so you don't have lots of people trying to work on it at the same time. Um, Oh, there's one other command that, you, that might be useful uh, in doing this or other things, and that's transpose. So if I just wanted to, to decode, to multiply this uh, matrix 
by this set of three numbers. I, if I try to just do equals um, matrix multiplication, this, comma, this, it should give me an error. Yeah, it gives me an error. And the reason is um, this is a 3 by 3, this is a 1 by 3. So the sizes have to be the same. And right now, they're not the same. This needs to be turned sideways. It's called transposed so that we can have 15, 18, and 5 in a column. And one way to do that, you can just copy it and then and then you can paste it, but you go to paste special, paste special, and you can do paste transposed, and then it will turn it for you. Oh. Uh, except those those are a formula. Paste values and paste transposed, but um, <laughs> okay, that didn't work. <laughs> well. Copy paste values only so then and then I can copy and paste transpose so I so took two steps there because they weren't just values but I can get that transposed and then I can then I can do the formula uh, that, that m mult command but there's a slicker way and that is um, to use the transpose command so transpose, um, the transpose command will transpose your the array in there, and um, and there I get the encoded matrix. I get the encoder times those three. So some transpose turns out to be pretty nice too um, when you're working with uh, matrices and vectors in spreadsheets. Okay, thank you.